welcome to just the tip micro size podcast because sometimes size does matter <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is this Mike and I recorded a podcast a while back and it was all about 90 day fiance and one of the episodes we were listening to was like maybe 20 minutes and we could not even make it through 20 minutes of listening to ourselves talk <laughs> so we're like let's do another podcast but keep it short just the tip we're gonna hit whatever is on our mind that week and leave you guys off with our tip for the week. So this is all an experiment. We've already set the timer. We've already set the it's timer. Gonna go off in fourteen minutes and twenty three seconds. Yes. So <laughs> just the tip. Let's let's kick it let's off. Let's dive right in. Go, babe. Okay. You know what's just irking me this week is <laughs> what's irking you. Well, of course, Donald Trump irks me every day. But this government shutdown, where you've got politicians holding 800,000 federal workers hostage for their own political gain. It, it's ridiculous. They worked them out of two paychecks. And do you know the contractors are not getting back paid? <clears throat> they Contractors won't get back paid. Horrible. It's awful. And they they just use these people as bait and collateral. Like Yeah, our country's fire as, best. As pawns, yeah. <laughs> Billy <clears throat> McFarlane is fucking us. And Kanye is literally um, his jaw rule. <laughs> so that's got me a little irked. I mean, it's just got me irked right now. Okay, and you used to be a government employee. I was a government employee, yeah. So it's and like it hits close to home. And it actually, wasn't there a shutdown when you were working for the government? Yeah, there was, but the way that our that department is funded, it's funded through the year, so government okay. shutdowns can't affect it because then it would involve patient care and that'd be bad. Um, and then the like secretary of the economy or whatever the fuck, whoever he is, gets quoted as saying that oh, I don't get what the big deal is they can just get loans to bridge the gap. Yeah, they've have they have you has <laughs> anyone out there ever themselves or seen family or friends get a payday loan? Fucking the predatory. biggest fucking scam out there. I've literally had family get those loans and feel awful that they have no other options and what the situation in the country right now is so enraging the big the biggest shit but they only funded it for what three weeks so this could all happen again oh i mean it, well it, it's happened quite frequently but the this whoever this fucking head of our economy government guy is tells people to go get a predatory payday loan and it just shows you how far removed every single one of these po no politician should get reelected. I mean, there's a couple the, that could. There's a couple. Yeah, that just got elected. I like Elizabeth Warren. I like Bernie Sanders. I like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I know you like Bernie Sanders. I like those people. I, can I be honest? I, in, I'm i not someone who does like a deep dive into politics. Oh, I don't either. Uh, this is just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't actually understand why people are so mesmerized by Bernie Sanders. And I think the reason I don't understand it is because he's been around for a really long fucking time, but what has he actually done? And that may sound ignorant. I'm admitting that I have not really sought out the information to educate myself on that, but I just feel like the way that some people flock to him and bow down to him, you would think his reputation would precede him. And I'm looking for it, and I just can't find it. <laughs> I honestly don't think you've actually looked. Do you even know why you like him? Yeah. Why? Because I like uh, what he talks about with campaign finance reform. What is, has he done that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know, but he talks about it. Okay, so... Elizabeth Warren talks about coming down on big... Uh, on Comcast and, and making internet access a right and not a privilege. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to find our friend Edwin and have him come on here and talk about just the tip surface level of but politics. But he's like way more than just the tip. Well, no, I know. He's but the like He's the rest shaft. of the iceberg. <laughs> but like, I think that to have someone like him who's so living it and educated on it, it's really cool because like I hear you trying to explain why you like him, but you actually just that it bit you actually don't know what the fuck he's actually done. I'll be honest. Out of all those people, I actually only really like Alexandria 
Cortez. Okay, thank you. Let's start with that. I've been trying to teach Michael that words mean <laughs> things. So you all just experienced a little snippet of what my life is like when he says one thing makes this definitive statement. No, it's because I like them and now she is around and like just... You like them because you felt you had to, She's and like, now we have someone who actually makes fucking sense. Yeah, and actually is in our demographic and our age group, and actually understands what it's like. The way that they came down on her for moving there and saying she doesn't have enough money to like get a place to stay and have a staff. It's like no, like you fucking out of touch prick. Um, <laughs> okay, anyway, so yeah, I, well, <laughs> we're I'm under only, ten minutes. Let's let's yeah, keep yeah, it going. Yeah. I only like those people because they were like the least slimy in my okay, opinion. Okay, but I think in the year of 2019, this year of our Lord, I I think you need to do better. Let's do better, yeah. No, no, not let's, you. Oh, okay, sure. Um, Let me just put a little asterisk here and just remind Mike and everyone else that I, like I have to say this, black women have actually been doing better. Just look at the voting record. So I'm just I'm just throwing it out there when you when I said you need to do better and then you said let's do better. I just want to make sure you know that I am not taking that bag. That's Babe, not for me to don't hold. Don't like ride all their coattails. Honey, I made sure you voted. <laughs> you may have I made sure you voted in every election since yeah, we've been together. Yeah, you may have forged my signature and then got my vote rejected because you did a shitty ass job of forging it. <laughs> so my vote literally didn't count one of those times. Okay, and then just one last thing on politics, because we're getting a little past the tip. Uh, Howard Schultz is... Mike's giving you guys a full stroke. (laughs) Howard Schultz is going for the presidency, and he's doing a book tour, and his first stop is in Seattle, and there's protests outside of the Moore Theater tonight, because anyone with a mind knows Tonight when we're recording is Thursday. Yes, Thursday night. Um, And it was on the news. They're airing on the news, and they have a Sonics fan on the news saying... No Sonics fan with a brain should ever vote for Howard Schultz. <clears throat> um, Mike's from Seattle, so that's why this matters. Like, not Howard Schultz, but that's why the Sonics fan. Yeah, yeah, that's why I care about the Sonics. Um, he has a Sonics t-shirt that I want to turn into a crop top, and he refuses to let me. He keeps saying it's vintage, and I'm like, dude, it looks like it's literally from Urban Outfitters, it's and like, I actually want it. It's like their 96 Eastern, or not Eastern, it's like well, their 96 see, Western this. Conference. When he had the shirt, I was like, oh, did they win? And he was like, well, no, but it's like original, it's vintage. And I'm like, it's not even a fucking winning shirt from a winning team. Well, it was like a conference final shirt. but Don't like 16 teams or like four teams go to the conference finals? Don't they start off with like 16 and then whittle themselves down? I'm not going to get past the tip on this one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and I really don't even want to finish it. I should just walk away from this flaccid. Yeah. It's yeah. like no tip. Yeah, it's okay. Um, It's okay. So we were just talking about aging. and Oh, yeah. So we we're sitting here and I'm looking into his eyes. And I'm just like, you look smoldering. Like looking at him, I blew this little soft breath his way and said, it's like someone just blew into the embers of a fire and your heart starts growing. And I just was like, I want to remember us looking like this good right now because at one moment overnight, we're going to just look different and you can't go back. I mean, you can get some work done, but you have like a thing against, I think not all plastic surgery, but for sure injectables. Yeah. I don't think it's a good idea. That's what you say, but wake up. Wait until you wake up and there's a perma fucking wrinkle on your forehead, and tell yeah. me that you're not gonna be like injecting yourself. It'll bother me, but like every face gets wrinkles as it ages. It's a natural process. Yeah. So like, yeah, you can sh- you can fight it, but you're just gonna look weird in the end. Or well, I don't know. I guess some like people with money who get good work done actually do kind of look decent. <laughs> no, what it is, I think, is taking care of yourself and being actually healthy, like living a healthy, sustainable lifestyle, and then getting tasteful, stressing that tasteful mm, work done disagree. a little bit here and there as no, you need it. No. Yes, that's what it is. You know, you, okay. I'm gonna stop you there because you'll never need it. It's not a need as you want it. Just I just need you to like get the words right because as you just said, words matter. So just But I don't I don't think that it's as you need it. I think it's I don't think it's as you want it. I think it's as you need it. Like, it's not as you need it, it's as you want it. Whatever. No one needs to stop wrinkles because they're natural. It's like, oh I'm gonna hold in all my farts. No, I mean I honestly you could do that and it hurts. I wouldn't be upset. It hurts. Um well, I'm just excited because 
I think that you're going to age well. I hope so. But your insides are so good that, like, you have the best heart and you're one of, like, the best humans I've ever known. So you're making me think of I'm listening to Dirty John right now. I got him to listen to Dirty John. I was really late to the party, but holy fucking shit. I didn't think that people like Dirty John could exist. But then I watched that um, Netflix documentary abducted in plain sight. And you're like, wait, you let some pedophile sleep in your daughter's bed for six months. Yeah, that's a real thing. And then you hear like the stuff with Firefest and you're just like, so what? Yeah, it's it's a lot. I'm just I don't care about I mean, I do kind of care about how I look, but not as much as you, but like what I really care about is like the pain in my joints as I age. Well, that's how, do you, what how I is care your about. pain? Because Mike has lost like seven pounds. He has his um what is it called? My, my fitness pal. I'm using the free hashtag version of not my, an ad. The free version of my fitness pal. But also Don't pay hashtag $10 a month. ad because if my fitness pal wants to sponsor, do we have this to podcast, retroact? Do we have to like <laughs> premonitionally add? I don't add think you in? use that correctly. Definitely not. But like, it doesn't matter. Um. So hashtag ad. If you know anyone at my fitness pal and they want to sponsor a podcast with someone who just lost seven pounds, yeah, um, eight, eight pounds in. A month and like five days. And what's the difference? Okay, so as I'm I'm forcing myself to be very truthful with how I enter my calories and my exercise into the app, and it made me realize how much pointless eating I do. Like, I would just go to the cupboard and I would grab a handful of whatever I felt like eating. Do, does anyone else out there say cupboard or do people say pantry? Wait, what did I say? You said cupboard. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I mean, Go think ahead. about it. It's like, it's like bag and bag. No, it's not. Cupboard is one of it. It's not like. No, you shouldn't say cupboard at all because it's a weird, antiquated word. Is it? Yeah. What? Okay, cabinet. How about that? That's literally what it is. Do you do you uh, go to like Home Depot and look for cupboards? Uh, okay, go ahead. We're, going. we're down. To, okay, yeah, yeah. We're under okay. three minutes. So, um, and being truthful about my calories made me realize I'm just eating so much pointless stuff. So I literally just stopped snacking. How did you feel the first couple of weeks? Because you said that you felt like you were starving. Yeah, I felt like I was starving all the <laughs> he time. He stopped eating the extra food and felt like he was starving. I felt like no matter what I did, I was just hungry. Like I could be completely full because I would eat a meal of like vegetables and whatever. But I would still feel like because I was losing weight and I, you know, I still am. And so like my body is burning fat to get energy. But how do you like you feel good? Yeah. The first couple of weeks was honestly kind of hard. I just felt like I was starving. Would you <laughs> recommend the app to anyone? Yes, I would recommend the app. I don't recommend that everyone. It's not like a one size fit all. Not everyone's going to be willing to enter all their calories in. And for some people, that's not the answer for them. But for me. It was the it was You're very disciplined, very helpful because it just made me realize all the shit I'm shoving in my mouth when I'm like bored. Um, we're under two minutes. What, Ooh. Let's, let's finish this. Okay, off. and then okay. Honestly, you bought a corn dog earlier today, and I just want to talk about how much I love corn dogs. Okay, but I'm gonna have to just. Okay. throw a What's fly. your favorite fair food? Okay, so I've never been to a fair. What? That's like one of those test questions where you're like, "This is biased because everyone doesn't have this experience." Like, what's your favorite fair food? You assume that people have been to fairs. Like, what the fuck is a fair? Ha, I know what a you... fair is, but like, no, I'm from Chicago. I went to the Taste of Chicago. Okay, the Taste of Chicago. It's yeah. like what's a your fair, favorite? What's but your... like not a fair. What's your favorite thing to get at the Taste of Baby, Chicago? Baby, you're from a little town where you have fairs. I'm from a big city where we have fests. <laughs> um, my favorite food at Taste of Chicago. Honestly, I don't even remember because it's like. After a while, I didn't even go to eat. I went there just to hang out because it's all the fucking restaurants that are in the city where you live. Corn dogs, funnel cakes, <laughs> elephant ears, and if they do them well, a turkey leg. That's just like such a fat kid answer. You just read, <laughs> you asked me to be polite, and then when I had nothing, you just listed four. <laughs> and then. The okay, eat. really quick tip for the week. We're yeah. under, we're almost at 30 seconds. Okay, 37. 36. Babe, stop. Sorry. Go. Tip for the week. My tip for the week is, you know, I'm not going to do like a weight loss tip because I, what, I like, I, 
I watched my weight for one week and I feel like I'm a fucking guru. You watched your weight for six weeks. Six weeks, And yeah. you do feel like a guru. My tip for the week is going to be take care of yourself. I said that because I knew Aisha was probably going to say something like that. I wasn't. I was going to say my tip for the week is that words mean things. And you owe it to yourself and to everyone that you are around to really think about what you're saying when you say it. All right. Two, one. Okay, bye. Bye.